Hey everybody, I'm here today with a video on Math Set Pieces Explained. I'll be going over what is everything for in this easy tutorial. Let's get right into the video. You know what I'm talking about, a typical math set. It is stuff like these, this right here, this right here, and then other stuff like these things over here, okay? So I'm gonna tell you what all of these things are for. They're otherwise known as a mathematical set or a geometry set. So let's get right into the video. <coughs> Sorry about that, I apologize. I just had an apple and I think there's a little bit of a piece stuck in my tooth and it's just sort of working its way around in my uh, on the edge of my throat. So just give me a sec, let me just, there we go, we're good. I just got it down, so we're good to go. So essentially these right here are set squares. You're gonna find two set squares in most mathematical sets, okay? Now why are they called set squares? Well, the edge of them is a 90 degree angle which makes them a perfect square. So if you need to corner off something or edge off something, you can use these, okay? Now there's two of them so you can actually draw parallel lines or perpendicular lines. So you could draw parallel lines because as you can see, if I put them both like this, this side, and this side will be parallel as long as the bottoms are lined up on an, on a straight edge, okay? Or perpendicular lines because I can just line this up and then this line would be perpendicular. Really, really straightforward. Um, and this is the this is the stuff that came in this math set that I have, that I use. Other math sets might be slightly different, but they're all gonna be very, very similar. The next thing is this ruler. Now, you, you know, ruler, is for measuring. Most math sets are gonna come with a small ruler because you probably won't need a 30 centimeter ruler for the math that you're using with a math set. You probably just need a small ruler. Gives you a straight edge, um, decently long for measuring stuff, very straightforward. This right here is a protractor, okay? A protractor is used to determine angles. As you can see right here, if you get one um, one part of the angle, one edge of the angle over here along the zero line, you can see where the other line falls along these numbers and that will determine the angle. I've done separate videos for all of this stuff rather recently, so go and search up how to use a protractor, how to use a compass, which I'm going to show you in a minute, um, because I'm not going to go over how to use all of these individually, but more so what they're for. I've done separate videos on them. So this is for measuring angles, and you can also use it to draw a semicircle and turn it around and draw a full circle if you need to. However, I just dropped the piece. I'm sorry about that. There we go. Um, if you want to draw a circle, you can actually use this right here. This is a compass. Very simple. You put a pencil in this little grip right here. You put this little point on the center of where you want the circle to be, and you let your you spin and you let your pencil. Your pencil is going to spin and draw a perfect circle and you can make it bigger or smaller and that's it. It's just going to draw a perfect circle just like that. Very, very easy to use. In addition, there's also probably going to be another type of protractor that you can use for a similar type of thing. Not exactly the same, but similar drawing a circle type of, of method. Okay, I'm, I'm going to lose this stuff over here. In addition, you might have a tracing tool. Um, this it depends on the math set. You know, you might have a tool that traces uppercase and lowercase letters and potentially even the numbers um, if you want to title things and stuff like that. And then you're probably going to have a sharpener. Sharpener is very straightforward. You twist the pencil in it and it sharpens the pencil. Very straightforward. But that's it. That is essentially all the stuff that came in this math set that I have. Um, but, you know, there might be more things or fewer things in the math set that you're dealing with. But that's it. I mean, it's all going to be very, very similar. All used for geometry and various mathematical equations and stuff like that. And that's basically it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.